evening everyone. Thanks a lot for staying with us. You're watching Plain Speak with me, Shivani Gupta. There are no permanent friends or enemies in politics and there is no Indian politician who embodies this adage more than Nitish Kumar. He's done it again. After leaving the NDA in 2013, later joining hands with RJD and others as a Mahagadbandan in Bihar, then leaving that coalition to come back with the BJP, he has now dumped the NDA again after winning the elections together just in 2020. Making this his third switch in under 10 years. And these are not just ordinary alliance switches. These are ideologically absolutely opposite alliances. His image of someone who switches sides repeatedly apart, there are other questions that also arise from this recent switch. How is Nitish going to justify coming back to the RJD after dumping them, claiming their corruption taint was hurting his image? With an RJD that is stronger, what kind of a control will he have over his new coalition government? And will this switch help the opposition in firming up any national narrative against the BJP? We will take all of those questions to our guests in just a bit, but first, let's just break down this situation further. Why is Nitish Kumar even betting on the Mahagadbandan again? Apart from being upset with the BJP, there has to be shrewd political analysis. Because this isn't as easy or even an obvious choice. This is a bit like being stuck between the rock and a hard place for him and perhaps choosing the lesser evil for yourself. Nitish ultimately is securing his own future and political capital. Will he succeed or not is a separate question. But here is why it may work for him. The RJD is a big player in Bihar after emerging as the single largest party after the 2020 elections. The JDU can benefit from a larger social coalition with the RJD, the Congress and others a la 2050 when the Mahagadbandan did work. His Vikas Babu image can help dilute that corruption plank against the RJD. But here's possibly the kicker. The success of the alliance can cement Nitish in the non-BJP fold in national politics. He can also emerge as the nucleus or the face of an opposition that is desperate for credible faces. But here is also how this affects all sides. Nitish Kumar, as I mentioned, he retains his chief ministerial post. Some will accuse, some will accuse that that's the only constant in Bihar politics. And the alliances may change because Nitish Kumar just secures that role for him. And he can now expect a larger national role, possibly by the time the next Lok Sabha elections come. What about Tejashvi Yadav? He's obviously a winner in this. He's back in power in the state. And this is also a leg up for next assembly elections or the Lok Sabha polls for the RJD. The BJP, the third party involved here. Now, they'll of course have to sit in the opposition for the meantime. We don't know for how long the new alliance will work. There are question marks on that. But they are now free to target Nitish's clean image or his image, which they were sometimes seen at odds with or uneasy with, but now it's no holds barred. Like I said, it's not all that simple. There are clear problems too. Nitish Kumar has taken the leap, but can just switching to Mark Gadbandan be his saviour? Because make no mistake, Nitish will have to play second fiddle to the RJD. One can even question if his situation is going to be any better than what it was with the BJP. He will also have to handle the aggressive RJD base, the baggage of being with the RJD that has the Gunda Raj stained and the streak attached to them will not be as easy as the Chief Minister. He could also be a weak Chief Minister with limited control. The RJD back in power, as I said, after five years will take more than its fair share. It's not just about ministries and who gets what. It's a big question if Nitish Kumar will indeed be in control. This can disturb his existing electoral arithmetic as well. Because part of his traditional vote bank clashes traditionally with that of the RJT, which is the Yadav vote bank. He will also lose the double engine advantage that he had with the BJP. Complain as one may as many times, but there is a reality that that BJP combine in the state and at the centre did help Bihar. And it's not like he will no longer face the risks of party disintegration, the very reason he is upset with the BJP. He will continue to face the danger of a party breakup. How will he keep all of his MLAs and party leaders happy is still a problem. So the big question we ask today, is this Mahagadbandan better for Nitish Kumar than the NDA? Has he made the right choice? That big debate coming up in just a bit, but first up, here's what the big political players said earlier today. 
सारे मतलब सात पार्टियों का और एक इंडिपेंडेंट उन सभी लोगों का दस्तक भी दे दिया गया है और बातचीत भी इतने दिल से हो रही थी कि अब एक साथ हम लोग हैं अभी हो जाए तो इसी के लिए अरे भाई हम लोग चाचा भतीजा लोग हैं लड़े भी हैं आरोप भी लगाए हैं लेकिन 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 हम लोग तो करते थे हम लोग तो समाजवादी लोग हैं ना तो हमारी जो पुरखों की विरासत है वो कोई और ले जाएगा क्या सत्ता का सुख लेंगे मोदी जी के नाम पर जीत का आनंद लेंगे और आज छोड़कर चले जाएंगे तो बिहार के जनता के इस मैंडेट का अपमान हो रहा है जिसकी हम निंदा करते हैं Let's take this to our guest. There's been a big political shakeup in Bihar yet again, and we don't quite know exactly how this will work out for each side. This is, even though something that has played out before, still relatively new territory. We still don't know how this plays out for Nitish Kumar. We don't know how the BJP will respond or recover from this, and we certainly don't know how the RJD can build up on this. Let me go across to our guest, Dr. Dhananjay Giri, is Bihar BJP spokesperson joining us. Anshul Avijit is the Congress spokesperson. Mayank Sinha. is jdu leader joining us we'll also be joined by arun anand who's an author and columnist chandrachur singh political analyst kanaiya belari who's a senior journalist let me go across uh, is mayank sinha with us all right mayank sinha is not with us but let me go across to anshul avijit anshul do you think this deal is better for nitish kumar than the nda and how will how will nitish kumar justify this being a better deal for him the first of all you know shivani let me just makes a few corrections to your introductory remarks you said that there are no uh, permanent uh, enemies or foes in politics no they are there is a permanent foe and enemy in politics and that happens when there are uh, ideological differences which are polar opposites such as the congress and the bjp there can be no truck they can never uh, they can never shake hands and i assume the same is true for the rjd and the bjp i mean it's completely ideological opposites and this is the crux of what has happened here that we wanted the bjp out of power they are intolerable um, they have destroyed this country they have destroyed all the institutions of this country they have destroyed our social fabric we wanted them out uh, we cannot abide by them and now nitish kumar has joined our camp in that sense so there no, is an okay alliance no it's okay for nitish kumar to do so i i don't think that anybody is questioning you know uh, that he has done so he is free to do so but when you say uh that the bjp cannot be you know uh i think you used a particular word that they cannot be allowed or uh, accepted i think you have to understand this is a democracy they were voted into power in bihar and i'm sure you will accept they were voted into power you know in lok sabha elections too so political ambitions i mean political alliances aside i specifically mentioned this about no permanent friends and foes for nitish kumar he is certainly living that adage isn't he I mean, no other politician has made as many switches and such large switches—not minor political switches or alliances, but large ideological switches that you are talking about in just ten years. The only constant is, is that he stays the chief minister. No, no, uh, Shivani, I, you know, I'm never undermining the voters. Of course, they're free to choose whoever they want. This is a democracy. I'm just saying we can't abide by them. We mm. we dislike intensely their politics because it's a politics of revenge and antagonism. So we can't abide by them. Look, there, it serves no purpose to go back into history. This is a, a particular alignment of interests, a kind of a constellation of common objectives that have got together at this particular point of time. If you go back to history, then there are lots of examples, including that in. the bjp in multitude of parties where people have crossed over there are things that have happened there is rhetoric there are charges there are counter charges it serves no purpose at okay. this the only reality at the present is that three parties have got together and other parties the left parties all the parties of the mahagathban have got together to keep the bjp out of power that is and the clear reality the main that thing. i understand at the moment and that's the main thing it is about keeping the bjp out of power correct that is a substantial and significant part of it the other part is good governance for bihar in which we made a positive start by announcing the fact that there will be more employment there are 4 lakh jobs there at vacancies so All good right. governance okay i'll come i'll come back to that governance of the bjp let me go across to chandrachur singh who's a political analyst before we are also joined by some of our other guests chandrachur let me come to you with the top question that i'm trying to figure out is this better for nitish than what he had with the nda well uh, the answer is uh, 
Ditis must have thought about it, and he must have figured out what would be what would be the options that he would have. I think uh, uh, I think uh, the one thing that he definitely uh, can get to do now in a better and a freer way hmm. would be to go back to his uh, you know caste based politics and uh, the politics of uh, you know uh, re uh, uh, religious appeasement, which is what he was not able to do particularly when the BJP was with him. Hmm. So naturally, you know, he'll be freer to do that. But then the other question would be, would the RJD allow him to openly do that? Because remember, the RJD also has the same vote bank yeah. uh, of the OBC and 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 the, uh, the Muslim minority appeasement that they do. So naturally, you know, uh, you know, he is, he is limited in his choices. Uh, time is running out, uh, is aging as well. Hmm. So maybe uh, he would have thought that towards the last fag end of his political career, maybe why not taste one more or make one more dash at doing what he or any other regional party in states does. So that is, I think, uh, the choice that he okay, would have. But had. has he, is the price also uh, pretty substantial for him as he makes one more switch? That's what I'm coming to. Because you have to weigh the pros and cons. He's certainly done that. In your view, uh, is this the pros weighing in uh, in front of the cons? Which is, of course, the first thing is a hit on his image. I mean, you just don't know which way Nitish will go. Well, that image has already dented many a times in the past, and yet he continues to be the chief minister. Right. Uh, and he'll continue to be the chief minister this time again. So I, I don't think that image matters. And remember, we have a very relatively short uh, memory so naturally all the bygones are bygones as uh, we heard somebody saying that let's not get into the past mm. so today's present will become tomorrow's past and then tomorrow somebody will again come back and tell you on the tv channel that let's not get into the past so i don't think uh, you know that credibility of image to that matter uh, or political morality for that matter is a uh, factor anymore is, all right mayank sinha of the jdu is also joining me, uh, me. mayank uh, straight question how will jdu and nitish kumar justify switching sides one more time the third time in under 10 years and this time back to an alliance which you left after coming into power on the issue of corruption that issue doesn't go away Whatever the decision taken by the Honorable CM today, it was in the interest of the Bihar. And oh. we are talking about all the MPs, MLAs, MLC, standing for the BJP alliance. And they all are said to that we are uh, quit the BJP and form a new government in, with new ideas. So that's why we are joined. Uh, we quit the, uh, but Mayan, in just and, uh, two years, the government. ideas cannot become so old that you're breaking the election-winning alliance. What is the new idea here? Day by day, BJP, uh, BJP leaders are tortured, are, are creating torture to on level CM. Day by day, they give a bite. They are creating a nuisance in the state of Bihar, in the interest of the Bihar. So they are. That's why we are. We are, we have only one one uh, one part to quit the BJP and join a new alliance. Only one part. Only one part. The, uh, the BJP so, president come in the state of the Bihar, Patna, hmm. and he spoke that you have to cut small parts. We will finish it. Hmm. If you are in the alliance, whatever you speak, you you and lies before it, na? You will lie before it, whatever you speak. We are in the partner, we are in the uh, running a government hmm. with, uh, with, uh, with your coalition. Okay, you you offer as a scheme and you torture day by day. Torture. Now, that's a very strong word you you're using. Dhananjay Giri, okay, Chirag model you're talking about. Uh, but I'm just wondering what transpired in the last two years for you to figure this out and why did you wait this long because this Chirag model is not of this month or last month but anyway Dhananjay Giri of the BJP is with us how will you respond Mr. Giri they're saying you were torturing the chief minister and the JDU had no <laughs> other option did you not ill treat your alliance partners and there are other alliance partners in the past also who've made the same charge against the BJP see Nitish Kumar is the unique character of the Indian politics 
he only wants to retain the power by betraying by destroying by dishonesting and there is no no any particular ideology nothing is there he is having Mayank, my dear, you when you are speaking, I was listening. You Mayank, two seconds are okay. Mayank, Mayank, I'll who, allow you who, to rebut him. Who is doing? Let him make his opening argument, then you continue. Yes, Mr. Giri, continue. That type of reaction. Uh, See, that type of reaction is uh, it's not allowed. It was not allowed. That type of reaction. See, if the power of the Congress. See, the thing is here. See, you can see. See, you can see the character of the people. So the main thing is this: the emergence of Nitish Kumar happened in the Bihar politics because of the against of the Jangal Raj, which was famous through Lalu Jadav and his party, the Jangal Raj. The complete emergence of Nitish Kumar become because of that. In the name of Sushasan Babu, BJP played a major role, and BJP sacrificed a lot. Even now, if we are talking about this election, this election, RJD, whatever the God, the some small portion of seats because of the big campaign and the massive campaign of our honourable Prime Minister. They have done in Bihar. Because of that, the Nitish Kumar becomes today CM of the Bihar. But the thing is here, Nitish Kumar is such an opportunist politician. He used, he has no. Why you plant the? Why you plant the this thing? What are you doing, my dear? You speak at your time. Please, you speak at your time. This is not the gentleman thing. Or first of all, you speak. Told. I'll, I'll listen you properly. You are not judge, my dear. आपने कभी खंडन किया क्या कि प्रधानमंत्री जी आप ऐलान के बारे में उनके साथ नहीं है आप मैसेज दियो तो और प्राइम मिनिस्टर नीतीश कुमार हैज फाइट वन टाइम इट्स हिमसेल्फ आई गॉट ओनली टू सीट्स ही गॉट ही अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज हिज पावर व्हाट इज हिज पॉपुलैरिटी इन द स्टेट ही इज ऑलवेज ऑन द शोल्डर ऑफ अदर्स नीतीश कुमार कैन नॉट बी ऑन हिज आइडियोलॉजी कैन नॉट गो अलोन इन द पब्लिक He is always on the other shoulders. He don't have shoulders. He don't have his spine. Okay. He is always sitting on other shoulders. Okay. Let's go one by yeah. one. There are serious allegations that both sides are making. Mayank, Mayank, we are not able to understand you like this. So I request you to go one by one. Mr. Giri is making serious allegations as well. But let me bring in, let me bring in one of our uh, analysts as well. Arun Anand is also joining us. Arun is. Okay, Arun is not there with us. Kanaiya Belari is with us. Sir, can you hear me? Kanaiya ji, आपको मेरी आवाज आ रही है? आ रही है, आ रही है. जी, क्या ये चार्ज नितेश कुमार के खिलाफ सही है कि वो दूसरों के कंधे पे चढ़के आ जाते हैं पावर में, फिर उनको छोड़ देते हैं, या वो किसी भी कलाइंस में खुश नहीं रहते? अब ऐसे पिछले दस साल में तीन ऐसे एग्जाम्पल हो गए हैं. Is the grass always greener for him on the other side? Is he like just not happy wherever he is, despite being the chief minister? Nitish Kumar Bihar ki rajneet me pichle 15-16 barso se aisa dhuri ban gaye hain ki inhi ke ird gird jo hai rajneet Bihar ki ghumti hai. Jiske saath rahenge, usi ke haath me shatta hogi. Aur shatta hi ke liye rajneet hoti hai. Rajneet kursi ke liye hi hoti hai. राजनीत हर कीर्तन करने के लिए नहीं होता है बाय हुक एंड बाय क्रूक कुर्सी प्राप्त करना है और अगर जिस तरह के भी लोग हों उनको लेकर के सरकार बनाई जाती है आपको याद होगा कि जब हरिशंकर तिवारी जब मंत्रिमंडल में कल्याण सिंह के आए थे तो प्रधान उस समय जो लीडर ऑफ अपोजिशन या अपटल बिहारी बाजपेयी से पूछा गया था पूछा गया था ये तो क्रिमिनल की सरकार है तो उन्होंने कहा कि जिसको जनता ने जीता दिया वो जनता जीत गई अब क्रिमिनल कहाँ है उसी तरह नीतीश कुमार पर ये आरोप लगता है मुझे नहीं लगता है कि सूट करता है ये ये राजनीति ही ऐसी होती ये राजनीति का कैरेक्टर यही है इसमें कोई वैसा मत कुजिए इसमें कि बहुत स्वच्छ आदमी बड़ा अच्छा आदमी आएगा और समझिए कुर्सी पर बैठेगा इसी तरह नीतीश कुमार को समझना होगा Nitish Kumar has a dream to become the Prime Minister of India. He has a chance to get 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 a chance. But he thinks that now the chance has come. He has not been able to get a chance for the 14th. Then, the first time of the 19th, when he was in the Mahagathbandhan, he had to keep it from Sonia Gandhi. 
कि हमको आप जो है कौन समिति होती है उसका अभियान समिति का बनाई चेयरमैन उन्होंने टर्न डाउन कर दिया फिर वो चले गए बीजेपी के साथ बीजेपी भी अपने साथ गले में गले मिला लिया वही बीजेपी जो कहती थी क्या न क्या तो उस समय भी मैंडेट का जो है इन्होंने नीतीश कुमार ने आज जो कह रहे हैं कि मैंडेट का मैंडेट के साथ विश्वासघात किया है समय भी मैंडेट के साथ विश्वासघात किए थे लेकिन उसमें तो एक बात तो सही है ना कि अपने पर्सनल एम्बिशन के लिए हो रहा है पार्टी स्पोक्स पर्सन जो आज आके बोल रहे हैं कि आइडियोलॉजिकल डिफरेंस है हमने इसलिए किया है क्योंकि हमारी पार्टी तोड़ रहे थे या आइडियोलॉजी हम नहीं स्वीकार कर सकते या हम हमें ये नहीं कर दिया जा रहा था या हम डेवलपमेंट देंगे या जैसे कांग्रेस कह रही है कि बीजेपी हमें स्वीकार नहीं है और उनको पावर से निकालना ही निकालना है, है तो अल्टीमेटली पर्सनल एम्बिशन की बात ना ये नीतीश कुमार जो आप कह रहे हैं हुज बिकम द सेंटर पोल एंड अराउंड हिम एवरीबडी इज रोटेटिंग ही इज डूइंग दिस फॉर इज पर्सनल एम्बिशन और नॉट Or is there any great ideology involved? Kanaiya ji, I am not asking you. Absolutely. I will tell you again. There is no ideology in this matter. There is power politics. Yes. And in power politics, there is an ambition also connected to it. If this is BJP, it is also the case that the BJP is not very important to them. But the image of Nitish Kumar is that you have to go with everyone, and 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 you have to go with everyone. The other thing is, RCP Singh has been prepared कि उनको उससे भी दर्द था दूसरी बात 2020 के चुनाव में चिराग पासवान के मार्फत से इनको कट टू साइड किया गया जी इसलिए भी वो परेशान थे सबसे बड़ा उनका एक्शन है अभी मौका था वो चले गए तो मौके पे चौका मारा है उन्होंने नीतीश कुमार ने तो लेट मी टेक दैट क्वेश्चन फॉरवर्ड विद अरुण आनंद ज्वाइनिंग अस इस दिस Is this going to help Nitish uh, realistically to form up his position as the prime ministerial candidate of the larger non-NDA opposition, you think? Or is that too far-fetched a dream for Nitish Kumar at this stage? No, I don't think, you know, it is going to help Nitish Kumar uh, to uh, position himself as a prime ministerial candidate because one thing is very clear that there are too many prime ministerial candidates in the opposition. Hmm. Second thing is that see, the problem is that uh, uh, Nitish Kumar is 71 years old hmm. and this is going to be, this is the last leg of you can say Janta Dal United. Hmm. The Janta Dal United, the destination is very clear. It is going to, you know, uh, vanish uh, in the next few years because there is no other leader and all the political parties which are bereft of any ideology mm. and which are driven by individuals mm. so they are bound to meet this fate uh, this is this is a foregone conclusion so this is Nitish's last gambit and uh, I don't think uh, it is going to help Nitish because okay. uh, he has made a mockery of the uh, uh, the mandate which he got uh, he can uh, all of us know that uh, Rashtri Janta Dal Congress these are the parties which had made Bihar synonymous with corruption with political violence with anarchy with chaos and he got a mandate as Sushasan Babu to you know retrieve the situation and he is again going back uh, with the, the same party I think it's a very sad day for the state of Bihar yeah yeah it's a very sad day for the state of Bihar whoever wins whoever becomes the chief minister the people of Bihar are losers mm. Mayank ji, how do you respond to this? Ultimately, this is not what Bihar voted for and Nitish Kumar has repeatedly betrayed that mandate. I already quote to you, hmm. whatever done the BJP in the state of whatever done in the state of Madhya Pradesh, hmm. also planning to do in the state of Bihar, they create a Chirag model there and they are hunted to damage the Nitish Kumar and his uh, MLS to uh, going to be purchased. Hmm. So that's why we need to say, we need to go with another alliance. It is an interest in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the state of Bihar, for the interest in the state of Bihar. Okay. So what is it? It's what it is. 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 हम पार्टी को खत्म कर देंगे जितनी भी ओके पार्टी है बट दैट डेंजर्स टिल परसेंट आई जस्ट वांट टू कट अक्रॉस आई रिक्वेस्ट आई गेस्ट टू स्टे विद अस वी हैव गोट द बीजेपी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस नाउ बिगिनिंग लेट्स जस्ट लिसन इन टू व्हाट दे सेइंग 
रेणु दीदी को हमने इसलिए दिदिया कहा कि हम लोग उनको आराम से ही दिदिया कहते हैं नीतीश कुमार जी हमें छोड़कर चले गए और कहा कि भाजपा उनकी पार्टी को तोड़ने का काम कर रही थी तो नीतीश जी आज मुझे आपसे कुछ सवाल पूछना है पहला सवाल आप हमारे साथ कैसे और क्यों आए थे आपको याद है आपने लालू जी को छोड़ा था जब हम लोग चारा घोटाले की लड़ाई लड़ रहे थे याद है ना आपने समता पार्टी बनाई थी तो भाजपा के साथ आने की आपकी वो पहली यात्रा थी और आज जो सांप्रदायिकता की बात करते हैं माननीय नीतीश कुमार जी तो आपको मैं विनता से बताऊं उस समय राम जन्मभूमि का आंदोलन अपने पीक पर था उसके बाद आप भाजपा के साथ रहे क्योंकि जंगलराज लूट परिवारवाद भ्रष्टाचार उसके खिलाफ आपने अपनी आवाज भाजपा के साथ लगाई हम लोग चारा घोटाले में लड़ रहे थे मैं वकील था सुशील मोदी पिटिशनर थे बाद में ललन सिंह भी आए थे ये आपके हमारे साथ आने की शुरुआत है आप छियानवे में साथ थे अंठानवे में साथ थे रेल मंत्री बने 2000 में आपको भाजपा ने बिहार का मुख्यमंत्री बनाया जबकि बहुमत नहीं निकल सक निकल सका आपको भाजपा ने दोबारा केंद्र में फिर मंत्री बनाया कृषि मंत्री उसके बाद आज नीतीश कुमार जी आपको यह स्मरण देना जरूरी है कि आपकी पार्टी में आपको बिहार के मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में प्रोजेक्ट करने पर परेशानी थी और 2005 के चुनाव में स्वर्गीय अरुण जेटली स्वर्गीय प्रमोद महाजन स्वर्गीय सुषमा स्वराज यहां सभी उपस्थित थे और हम लोगों ने निर्णय किया कि बूटा सिंह ने जो डिसमिस किया था और जो पहला चुनाव हुआ था उसको जीतना है तो बिहार में नेता चाहिए और हम लोगों ने आपके लिए बहुत आग्रह किया दबाव दिया और आज नीतीश जी मुझे आपको याद कराना पड़ेगा कि जॉर्ज फर्नांडी सरीखे नेता भी हम लोग के इस दबाव से बहुत सहज नहीं थे आज आपको याद दिलाना जरूरी है क्योंकि आप कह रहे हैं कि भाजपा ने आपकी पार्टी को तोड़ने का कारण किया आप हमारे साथ थे भाजपा जदयू की सरकार ने अच्छा काम किया आप तेरह में सिर्फ नरेंद्र मोदी के विरोध के कारण चले गए चौदह में आप बुरी तरह से हार गए फिर आप लालू जी के साथ चले गए पंद्रह में और आप फिर मुख्यमंत्री बने आपसे नीतीश कुमार जी आज भाजपा एक दूसरा सवाल पूछ रही है आपने पंद्रह में लालू जी के साथ जाने के फैसले को पुनर्विचार क्यों किया सत्रह में आपने क्यों कहा दो साल बाद कि मैं बहुत असहज हूं क्योंकि श्रीमंत तेजस्वी जी अपने ऊपर लगे गंभीर भ्रष्टाचार के आरोपों का जवाब नहीं दे पा रहे ये आपने खुलकर कहा कि इतने गंभीर आरोप लगे यहां सुशील मोदी ने लगाए थे चर्चा में आए थे तो आपने कहा उसका जवाब नहीं आ रहा है आपके राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष ललन सिंह जी हैं उन्होंने भी बहुत सवाल पूछा था रेलवे मंत्री रहते एक होटल ट्रांसफर हुआ था रांची में रेलवे का और पटना में कुछ मॉल बनने की बात थी उसको लेकर काफी सवाल उठे थे रेलवे में भर्ती को लेकर सवाल उठे थे नौकरी के बदले जमीन को लेकर सवाल उठे थे और नीतीश जी आप कृपया करके अपने पुराने टीवी के कमेंट को याद करिए आपने कहा था इतने गंभीर आरोप लगे हैं इसका जवाब तो मिलना चाहिए और तेजस्वी जी ने बार बार कहा यह जवाब मैं अपने वकील से पूछ के दूंगा उसके बाद फिर आप हमारे साथ आए हमने कहा अच्छी बात है हमारे पुराने साथी हैं आप आप आ गए फिर आपने 19 का लोकसभा चुनाव हमारे साथ लड़ा बीजेपी ने जो 14 में बिहार में निर्णायक जीत प्राप्त की थी 
उसने अपने बहुत से सिटिंग एम का टिकट so that's uh, former union minister ravi shankar prasad uh, reminding nitish kumar of his switches and just why he came with the bjp in the first place let me take that to mayank who's uh, the representative of the jdu once again on the panel because this question is indeed going to come up again and again mayank forget your problems with the bjp forget your allegations against the bjp how will you justify going back with the same party with the same person who you said had a corruption taint that was not being explained How does that happen? Ravi Shankar Prasad ji, बहुत अच्छे वक्ता हैं, एक अच्छे वकील हैं, और उनका काम है अपने पार्टी का बचाव करना। Ravi Shankar Prasad ji जो जो बातें कह रहे हैं, कि BJP ने नीतीश कुमार को नेता बनाया, CM बनाया, वो ये भूल गए हैं कि नीतीश कुमार जी ने बिहार में BJP की जड़ों को पनपने देने का काम करने का काम किया। BJP एक सारी क्षेत्र की प शहरों में इनका कुछ शहरों में इनका दायरा नहीं वो बात सही है मयंक आई एम नॉट गोइंग इनटू दैट आई एम नॉट गोइंग इनटू दैट माय पिन पॉइंटेड क्वेश्चन इज हाउ विल यू जस्टिफाई गोइंग बैक विद द आरजेडी ही इज नॉट मैडम मेरी बात तो सुन लिया जाए मैं काउंटर कर रहा हूं रवि शंकर जी को वो बता रहे थे कि हमने नेता बनाया नेता उन्होंने नहीं बताया नेता तो लेटली ने आदि थे और इनके पार्टी को इनके पार्टी को बिहार में बढ़ाने का काम किया हमारे नेता नीतीश कुमार ठीक है तो वो आप आपस में कर लेना लेकिन जो लार्जर क्वेश्चन है वो तो करप्शन का है ना करप्शन इज अग इशू इन द स्टेट ऑफ बिहार एंड पीपल डेट वोट फॉर दिस सुनिए ना मैडम ईडी सी और आई का तो प्रयोग भाजपा का सबसे बड़ा ब्रह्मास्त्र है प्लीज उन्होंने तेजस्वी जी पर जो है की ईडी का बताया केस है तो तब नहीं पता था नीतीश कुमार को पांच साल हो गया कोई कार्रवाई नहीं हुई नहीं नहीं ईडी का जो तेजस्वी जी के ऊपर है जो बता रहे हैं रविशंकर प्रसाद जी हाँ जी तो आप उनके साथ थे उस वक्त नीतीश कुमार ने छोड़ा उस उस चार्ज पे तब नहीं पता था कि कंस्पिरेसी है ऑलरेडी हम हमारे नेता नीतीश कुमार जी ने जो पुरानी बातें थी उसको सब भूल गए और ऐसे कैसे होता है की आप पुरानी बातें भूल जाए आप अपने गले शिकवा भूल सकते हैं लेकिन करप्शन का इशू तो नहीं भूल सकते ना वो तो जस्टिफाई करना पड़ेगा ना जनता को कोर्ट तय करेगा ना कोर्ट तो कोर्ट तय करेगा ना मैडम तो फिर आप नहीं नहीं आप कोर्ट कोर्ट तो करप्शन चार्ज तय करेगा लेकिन आपने जो प्रिंसिपल स्टैंड लिया था वो कैसे जस्टिफाई करोगे जनता को या तो फिर आप वोट दोबारा लीजिए क्या जस्टिफाइड है बिहार की जनता ने बिहार की जनता ने आरजेडी को बड़े पार्टी बनाने का मौका दिया बट आपके साथ तो नहीं दिया था ना भाई साहब समझ के तो बनाया था नहीं तो ये तो वही बात हो गई यू कान क्लेम दैट दिस इज ओके व्हेन यू डू इट बट देन क्रिब अबाउट इट व्हेन समबडी एल्स डज बट आई विल कम टू दैट क्वेश्चन टू द कांग्रेस इन जस्ट अ बिट यस मिस्टर गिरी यू वांटेड टू रिस्पॉन्ड या शिवानी जी बट आई वुड लाइक टू स्पीक वन थिंग फर्स्ट आई हैव आई हैव नॉट इंटरप्टेड एनीबॉडी इन बिटवीन सो आई डोंट आई डोंट वांट एनी इंटरप्शन जो हमारे काबिल दोस्त फरमा रहे थे कि नीतीश जी ने भाजपा को आगे बढ़ाने का काम किया भारतीय जनता पार्टी विश्व की सबसे बड़ी पार्टी है और एक छोटे से सूबे में जहां से मैं भी आता हूं एक छोटी सी सबसे तीन नंबर की पार्टी अगर हमें बढ़ाने का काम करती है तो कितना हास्यास्पद है ये पहले इस पर We have fighted together to consider as Nitish Kumar as a leader. At that time, his party leader, Mr. George Fernandez, was opposed, opposing opposing this. That's why our leader was saying this earlier. The thing is here that we, even the leadership of Nitish Kumar, the emergence with the help of BJP against the Jangal Raj in the Bihar, hmm. and today he sit in the lap of Jangal Raj. The 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 same same family, the same people, the same party. He is standing with this. The two years before, when he did, उन्होंने अपने संबंध को खत्म किया था जब आरजेडी से he, तो क्या कहा था नहीं सही बात है वो हम सबको याद है नीतीश कुमार Uh, Anshul, let me come to you. You know, so far it was only the BJP that was attacked on this, and of course the Congress party, the opposition parties have been leading that you know they break up alliances or they uh, betray the mandates and they uh, bring down either elected governments or they steal the mandate in post poll alliances, etc. But first in Maharashtra and now in Bihar, the opposition is also doing it. 
So now at least you cannot claim to be better than the BJP. You mean we broke this government down? You think we engineered this collapse somehow? We were sitting on the ringside watching the crossfire between the BJP and the JDU, which went back to 2022. And I was there in Patna in the 22, uh, 2020 uh, elections. And there were hoardings on uh, Fraser Road in which they just had the, uh, the face of the prime minister. There was no Nitish Kumar on that particular hoarding. Uh, and uh, the, the Nara was ki bhajpa hai to bharosa hai. Matlab, Nitish Kumar pe koi bharosa nahi bhajpa ka. Wo it was right problem there hai. That is then, their problem. Which makes, but how, do, no, how no, no, will the, the opposition explain? No, that is a fundamental problem. No, that there may be a difference in your engineer. viewing in this. Let's say, let's say, let's take the example of Maharashtra. What happened when Ekna Shinde came back to, uh, you know, took, uh, uh, came to power and then this time once again with Devendra Fadnavis, the BJP can also say, it was the internal contradictions of the Shiv Sena that brought down its coalition. We were only nicely sitting and standing by and we waited for two and a half years for this, uh, you know, this conflicted alliance to fall. My point is, principally, the question is the same. You didn't win the mandate in Maharashtra no, 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 uh, or in Bihar. No, we, were, we have our 19 MLAs. We were, uh, you know, sitting in the opposition with 19 and MLAs. We didn't engineer this collapse. I don't do mean the Congress Party. I'm saying the larger opposition. Uh, look, uh, you know, uh, this question of Nitish Kumar, it is absolutely true, uh, is it not, that for the last 20 years, Nitish Kumar has been the, at the fulcrum of uh, politics in Bihar for that much time. He enjoys his own popularity. Even when in 2020, when he got less about half the seats of the BJP, the BJP decided to make him the chief minister. Yes. Was it an act? Was it a patronizing act? What was the reason? And does BJP indulge in this kind of patronage? That's not my no. question, Anshu. It was my because, question is, it was because after, he enjoys this, his own popularity. after this, can the opposition, the larger opposition, Congress included, other parties included, ever say that the BJP steals mandates? You've also not gone for an election, right? You didn't win this mandate uh, when the elections happened. The same was the case in Maharashtra. So my point is, it is politics at the end of the day. Nobody is holier than thou. Then the opposition will not be able to charge the BJP alone with doing this. You've done no, it no, well, no, it suits no. there you. Is a there is a qualitative difference. Shivani, there is a qualitative difference. Okay. We are not going to stoop to conquer. We don't destabilize elected governments uh, in the way the BJP has done it. And there is state after state in which they've done it. It is not the same. You're, it's a false equivalence. What are you saying? Okay, so let I me ask you the next question. Do you feel that the Congress party, which still plays a pretty big role as far as the non-NDA fold is concerned, even if the Congress's seats may have come down, but it is a pan-India party and plays a large role uh, in deciding and forming of the opposition strategy, do you think Nitish Kumar can be the prime ministerial face come 2024? Because a lot of people are saying this, that that's the assurance, something of that kind that he's been given by a party president. It was purely hypothetical. We've got a job on hand to do. We are looking at the present. Nobody is looking at 2025 uh, or 2024 as far as Bihar is concerned. Um, we've already set out a positive agenda to do work and to govern Bihar. Uh, there has been a ch change of guard, and rightly so. So the people of Bihar actually, you know, should be uh, you know grateful in that sense because a malicious, malevolent government is out. Right? That is what, it, it, this is the kind of... It's always very risky TV. business to tell people how to think, especially the voter. They will make up their own mind. But Arun Anand, Certainly. let me ask you this. You know, people do vote differently in Lok Sabha than they do in state elections. Now, there is no doubt that the Mahagadbandan will be strong when it comes to the state electoral uh, arithmetic. But do you feel that this switch will hurt the BJP come Lok Sabha elections as well in Bihar? I think it's too early to say right now uh, how it is going to pan out because we need to see uh, how gravely misgoverned Bihar becomes. I think there is going to be very strong anti-incumbency wave in mm. both Lok Sabha and uh, Vidhan Sabha elections and especially against the Nitish uh, government now. And uh, we know uh, what kind of havoc has been created by the RJD leaders in the past. And uh, I, I don't think, uh, you know, this government is actually going to last long. I think this government is going to collapse under this new Mahagadbandan. I would call it a Mahabrashta Gadbandan. is going to collapse under its own weight. I was going to ask you that uh, question. If this government can Swarthi... function well or will yeah. it be trouble again soon? No, no, so you believe no, this, cannot this cannot last the term? No, there will be trouble. 
see when there is a common ideological ground on the basis of which people come together then those are the alliances which last long but when you know jab swarthi tatv ek dusre ke sath aakar milte hain aur swarthi ek common factor hota hai at that time you know the uh, alliances cannot uh, last well, that long we have seen that happening why in maharashtra these alliances even with the bjp don't work although there's a large larger historical relationship but in recent times he's been kind of unhappy with bjp also on ideological issues there are large issues they don't really see eye to eye on they're uncomfortable with many issues so no wonder his alliances either with the rjd or the bjp sure. don't work out but mayank before i end this discussion i do no, want shivani, to ask just, you just, no no shivani i just i yeah. just want to make one point i just want to two just want to make one small point one is that nitish does not have an ideology That's what his party doesn't have an ideology and congress you had said that it's a pan india party i have a difference of opinion i don't think congress is a pan india party anymore that's all i wanted to say well it is a pan india party it may not be doing well let's not take that much away from it it is the only pan india party in the opposition ranks but anyways that's a discussion for another day mayank final question to you are you not worried that you will not be able to handle the rjd back in power with you because rjd ka bhi politics mein jab wo power mein hote hain to ek tarika hota hai ek unki history rahi hai क्या आपको डर नहीं है कि आरजेडी आरजेडी से बेटर तो अलायंस पार्टनर बीजेपी था आपके लिए नो नो वी हैव ऑलरेडी रन द गवर्नमेंट विद आरजेडी इन द 2015 टू 70 बट द द द ईडी सीबीआई एंड आईटी फोर्स वाज डिस्टर्ब टू आवर अलायंस एंड नाउ वी आर अगेन विद आरजेडी द वी आर वी हैव नो प्रॉब्लम and the bjp day by day uh, create a torture and the uh, president of the bjp bihar state they are they they they, are, they always create a nuisance there day by day and and give his bite in the public domain regarding okay uh, no fair uh, enough you can government. have your differences and you can have your grudges uh, I, i don't think any outsider can tell you how to think or you know uh, what to make of that but there are larger political questions let me give mr kanaiya bilari a final opportunity also kanaiya ji aapko kya lagta hai kya ye sarkar chal payegi aur is sarkar ke aage kya challenges rahenge khub achhi tarah se chalegi isliye ki is sarkar ko jo deal hai mujhe jo jankari hai ki ek saal ke baad तेजस्वी यादव यहाँ के मुख्यमंत्री हो जाएंगे और नीतीश कुमार दिल्ली चले जाएंगे और वहां से वो हिंदुस्तान का दौरा करेंगे जिस तरह आदरणीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी चीफ मिनिस्टर रह करके गुजरात का दौरा करते थे कोई गोल अचीव करने के लिए इसलिए कोई दिक्कत नहीं होगी यहाँ की सरकार अच्छी तरह से और क्योंकि तेजस्वी यादव जो है वो लालू प्रसाद यादव नहीं है और तेजस्वी यादव के सामने 40-50 वर्ष का पॉलिटिकल लाइफ है इसलिए वो बड़ा संभाल करके बहुत अच्छी तरह से सरकार चलाएंगे और मुझे लगता है कि कोई दिक्कत नहीं होगी और आप ये कह रहे हैं कि वो दिल्ली चले जाएंगे नीतीश कुमार एक साल के बाद तो क्या प्राइम मिनिस्टर बनने के लिए कवायद करेंगे बिल्कुल वही है उनका तो एकदम जो है प्राइम मिनिस्टर के पहला वही है ड्रीम है उनका जी कि एक बार रिंग में अपना हाइट में फेंकू हो सकता है कि न बनू लेकिन प्राइम मिनिस्ट्रियल फेस तो बन जाऊंगा ना एकदम ड्रीम है उनका राइट ओके लास्ट स्टिच एफर्ट और लास्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी दैट ही वांट्स टू ग्रैब अगेन देर कैन नॉट बी नो इश्यूज ऑन पर्सनल एम्बिशन एवरीबडी इज फ्री टू यू नो टेक द पाथ दैट दे वॉन्ट बट देर विल बी एस चीफ मिनिस्टर क्वेश्चन ओवर uh his uh step of us another switch and of Next, course how he runs that government han ji boliye nitish kumar ne abhi jo kaha nitish kumar ne jo kaha abhi rajbhavan se nikalte hue ki tejashwi jadav bihar ko sambhalenge iska kya matlab hai samajhna hai bilkul ha isse samajh jaiye okay then we'll see how the how the state reacts to that because let's face it just we didn't win the bandit But uh, Mr. Giri, I'll give you a final opportunity. What is the role of the BJP now in Bihar? How are you going to take the next, you know, three years forward? BJP is a party who is always devoted for the nation, of the upliftment, betterment of the people, betterment of the society, betterment of the person that is, uh, who is standing in the last row of the society. But one thing I'd like to say about Nitish Kumar, he is stamped 
his image about the, the betrayer. Earlier, once Lalu Jadav told that there is a teeth in his abdomen, he spoke in Gojpuri, in the Tiswa ke pet me daat ba. That is, that one line of, liner of Lalu Jadav says many things about Nitish Kumar, nothing more to speak. He is the uh, one, one, one character in the Indian politics who we, who we, nobody can trust on him. But is it also not fair, Mr. Giri, that the BJP the, also in, loses Ivory alliance party. partners? You are also not able to, the charge is that you don't respect your alliance partners. See, we are giving a immense respect of our alliance partner, especially Mr. Nitish Kumar, the way he got treated and the way he got free hand for the development and betterment of the Bihar. Everybody knows, and each and every Bihari knows how BJP has sacrifices, how BJP has supported Mr. Nitish Kumar for the betterment of Bihar. Okay. This we'll is, wait this and see how this plays South. out. We earlier did bring to you, uh, through a graphic representation, some of the major parties who have quit the NDA over the last few years. Uh, almost all of them have not actually done well after their split from the NDA. So that is something to think about. And we will, of course, take that conversation forward. Well, big shake-up in Bihar politics again. Whether things will change again or remain the same, it remains to be seen. Time for a very short break. On the other side, we'll get to today's biggest stories.